I've got builder's hands now. That feels so American to me. Shall we have a look in the loft? You just moved in up there? Not yet, no. Kitchen appliances have just arrived. It's just a little project at the house, but I'm excited about it. One of my favorite parts of the day reflects my mental state. These have been flooding my For You page. Ready? Hello, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Another great life decision from you this morning, clicking on a fab hand video. Anyway, I am here with a voiceover to start this vlog, but don't worry, we're getting into it with real time hand. My day always starts with doing Sunny's breakfast, and then doing my breakfast because I am a number one dog mum and dog comes first. I make myself a little coffee. Yes, I do have a cappuccino from a sachet. I don't want to hear anyone shouting at me in the comments. I know it's not a proper coffee, but I'm lazy. And this is genuinely my favourite breakfast every morning. I'm so excited to get up and eat this, but it's so boring. I call it my middle-aged granola. I always watch a bit of YouTube with breakfast, just a little catch-up. And this morning, I actually reapplied my eyelashes because I took them off last night, got myself ready, and here we are. Good morning, everyone. The sun is shining. I'm in a good mood. Life is good today. So I thought I would film a little day in the life for you this week. Switch it up from the weekly vlogs a little bit. I always like filming a day in the life every now and again because I feel like it's a bit of a more in-depth look at my day. Although saying that, I actually forgot to film something this morning. So first thing, when I got up this morning, literally opened my eyes, got dressed and went round to the house because the electrician has been in all week this week, along with the builder. They're kind of working together on all the electrics and stuff and all the electrics should be done by tomorrow. It's Thursday today as I'm filming this. So I went round this morning, went over a list of things with them of everything that needs to be done in the next two days. It's quite a lengthy list, but it's like all little fiddly jobs, like changing light switches and stuff now. All the big electric work is done. Anyway, I'm already boring. Starting off this vlog, with a little TikTok shop parcel. I think I know what this is, but I did only order it yesterday, so I'll be impressed. Oh my God, it is it. No way, how has that arrived next day off TikTok? These have been flooding my For You page, if you pardon the pun. I bought a water flosser. I've wanted one of these for quite a while. How much did I pay for this? It wasn't expensive and it's pink. Oh, okay, it actually was 28 pounds. For some reason I thought it was about a tenner. But the reason I've bought this is because I keep seeing people putting mouthwash in them and then using it. And I thought, what a genius idea. I bet your mouth feels so fresh after doing that. It's got four different heads. I was only expecting one like this but there's two little brushes and there's a little scoop not a clue what that would be for let's go and figure it out does anyone know if mouthwash goes out of date because i'm not a daily mouthwash girly i feel like i've had this for maybe even a year you know that's so bad isn't it that's why we're changing this though i'm guessing you just pour it in this little hole oh my god you can see it filling out look i've seen the tiktoks where this shoots out so i'm prepared ready Oh my God, it feels so weird. I don't know how much I'm enjoying the water flossing experience, but I've bought it now. Hopefully I'll learn to love it. I feel minty fresh and a little bit traumatized. I'm back with another CCTV angle, but I swear this office fills up with stuff so quickly. Granted, these two tubs are moving out boxes. This one's just like general stuff I've got to take around to the house. And this one is like, my childhood basically let's give it a little speed tidy because i can't bear looking at it for one more second and i've also got to do my bedroom today as well because that's somehow gotten out of hand this office is the tracy beaker dumping ground of p.o box deliveries which is why it always looks such a mess this is how you know you're an over the top dog mum when you've got a drawer of props <laughs> props costumes birthday stuff it's all going away for another year. I'm not joking. I could actually watch someone else tidy a room for like 40 minutes straight. Anyone else? I've said this before, but my bedroom 100% reflects my mental state. I'm feeling better today, so I'm ready to tackle it. My mum always told me that you should never make your bed as soon as you wake up in the morning. You should pull back the duvet, air the sheets, open the window and come back a couple of hours later and then make your bed. So that's what we do in this house. And I'm sure you'll be glad to know that I did in fact sort out these returns in this vlog. So stay tuned. So this arrived last week. Week and I wanted to show you guys because I think it's such a lovely idea and such a lovely memory. I ordered a little book of mine and my boyfriend's trip to Amsterdam. I also bought one of these when we went to Paris and basically we're gonna like stack them up next to each other everywhere we go on a shelf somewhere in the house and they'll all be in like date order as well so that when we're old we can look back, our kids can look through them and see their mum and dad's holidays from when they were younger. I just think it's such a nice idea and it's really nice to have like the physical photos from the trip as well. 
well. Literally so many in here that we took. I got it from Popsa, so I used their app. It's really easy to do. It does take quite a while, especially if you're a bit of a perfectionist. And I've also put captions on every single page of where those photos were taken. At the Van Gogh Museum. I'm not gonna lie though, they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but they're such a nice memory. When I ordered this though, they did have a discount. So I think it's definitely worth looking for like discount codes for Popsa and stuff. But yeah, 100% worth the money in my opinion. I think as standard, you get like a certain amount of pages for a set price. And then after that, each page you add, it's a bit more expensive, but isn't it so adorable? I've got the hardback one. This is like 20 by 15 centimeters, I think. So nice and little. You can obviously get bigger ones as well, but yeah. I just thought it was lovely. It's not just pictures of me in there, by the way, guys. There is pictures of both of us. So I'm going to put that in the moving out box to take around to the house at some point. But I'm not going to lie, we are running out of space around there, especially because the kitchen appliances are also arriving this afternoon. Anyway, the next thing I need to do today, this always feels like such a chore, but my returns are building up. I've got a couple more dresses to try on, and I've also got an AX Paris return to do. I'm going to return, if you watched last week's vlog, I'm gonna return this one and also the dark green. Because I'm not gonna lie, even though when I read the comments, most of you said this one looks the best, I just think if other girls are wearing dresses like this one and I wear a dress like this to the wedding, I just know I'm gonna feel really like frumpy. So I don't wanna risk it, but I did like this dress. It is pretty. Let's get returning. I literally hate doing this so much. Why is it so much effort? Girl math tells me that when you sort out returns, you're actually making money because you're going to get all that back. The next part of my day consisted of home base. And this is the part of these clips that you never see. I'm always asking Sunny to do a wee before we go in, just in case she gets a bit excited in there. The plan for today was to pick up some slate for the front garden. And I actually did this yesterday as well, but I didn't realise how much slate you need for such a small area. So I needed to pick up two more bags of it today. It's just a little project at the house, but I'm excited about it. Another day, more homeware shops. Is it homeware shops? I don't know. We're currently at home base and we have to go to Screw Fix and also Wix today. We're getting quite good at these runs, aren't we? Yeah. Every single day. What's it called? Hardware. Yeah. Hardware shops, not homeware shops. Sunny's always with us. There she is. But it's so warm today. First name oh. terms with everybody. I know everyone knows us in these shops now. Come on then. Shop number two. And we're on to hardware shop number two. Screw fix. I've been in here every single day this week. Then I had to pop into Wix as well because the electrician needed a really specific switch. I spent so long looking for it. I asked a member of staff for help and turns out it was literally right in front of my eyes. I'm still filming on my phone because my camera's upstairs, but I've just got back, made myself some lunch and I am absolutely starving. So this is gonna be a short clip, but I've just made myself sweet chili salad and mayo roll these are fresh rolls from the bakers baked every day and honestly delicious that's one of the main benefits about having builders in is we provide rolls every day which means rolls for us leftover ingredients for us and also someone tell me why strawberry ribena is so underrated it's actually delicious and excuse the state of my nails. I've literally still got a bit of nail varnish on that one. I'm gonna redo them later today because I've just picked off all my nail varnish. But I've been grafting lately, guys. I've got builder's hands now. <laughs> we definitely need to change that. Lunchtime roll, one of my favorite parts of the day. Mm -mm -mm. Where's it going, sorry? Oh, just anywhere down here, please, yeah. <laughs> 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 I literally just had to fly around to the house because my kitchen appliances were due to be delivered today and they were going to apparently phone an hour before they got here then I got a text 10 minutes before Sunny's literally just got here with my mum but I've just been but yeah the kitchen appliances have just arrived Sunny's just arrived you've got mud on your chin and they were really nice guys as well that delivered them they were really young I always like when there's young people I found that they're just nicer to deal with most of the time a lot of middle-aged men when you're renovating and for that reason I'm excited for this phase of my life to be done and this renovation to be done anyway the electrician has been in today changed all the plug sockets 
and light switches. I think he's done all of them anyway. I literally haven't even had a look yet. Down here, ignore the doors on the floor. They will be put up soon. Got two new plug sockets in there. These are the ones that I've gone for all over the house. They are brushed steel with gray inserts. Who knew there were so many colors of plugs, honestly, but I like these ones. Here she comes. So yeah, I've literally got them everywhere. I thought they would match the kitchen well because there's like silver bits in the kitchen. Very almost went for gold, but then I thought I would probably get sick of the gold, whereas silver is very inoffensive. I feel like it's timeless, you can't really go wrong. So yeah, all plug sockets and light switches have been changed, including in the bedroom too. So we have power everywhere now. Oh, and the ladder is out because the electrician's been in the loft today and I think he's going back up there tomorrow. Shall we have a look in the loft? I actually think I've only been up here once. I'll show you guys, but lofts scare me. This is what the loft looks like. It's not boarded or anything. So I'll have to get that done at a later date. Oh, look at all that. What is that? Oh, I don't like it. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. But the reason the electrician was up there is because today he was fitting this extractor fan. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. And another big house update, guys. Obviously, the electrician's been in, so all of these are now ready for the appliances to be put in. But also, our washing machine and tumble dryer arrived. And the tumble dryer... She's in place. And so is the sink unit. And then there's an under counter freezer going here. How exciting. I can't believe I've got like a washing machine tumble dryer stack. That feels so American to me. If you're watching this with your dog, I'm gonna say maybe mute the next like 10 seconds. Starting from now. <laughs> Get it. Still a little bit scared of her birthday presents, aren't we, dudes? Ready, go! <laughs> Ready, steady, catch! Well done! I've just been sat for probably an hour, I would say, uploading footage from this vlog onto my laptop, sorting out my camera roll yet again. Honestly, every week, like the house updates, the little clips I take every single day, I'm trying to keep on top of it and put it all on a memory stick so that it's not just in my camera roll. You guys saw me doing that last week. I've also washed half of my eyelashes last night. Here they are in their little, a bit like an eyelash graveyard, but they're just having a bath currently. And then this is some of the clean ones. Look at them all sat there, like they're having a little nap. So yeah, that's done. My room is tidy. I cannot explain to you how much fresher and cleaner my mind feels when I've got a tidy space. Anyway, I'm gonna try on a couple more dresses because like I said to you guys, I've bought a couple more. These ones are from Quiz. I'm gonna put my hair down. Let's try them on and see if either of these are a contender for the wedding that I'm going to at the end of this month. Okay, so if you watched last week's vlog, do we all remember this dress? Right, so I am gonna keep this one. It's still a potential, but the new one looks like this, which I guess it's quite similar to it, but this one's like a one shoulder. It's got a ruche. I said in last week's vlog, I didn't like the thigh split on one of the dresses. This thigh split feels less aggressive. I think because the rest of the dress is flowy, it's not like a bodycon. I'm not a dress person. I feel like I never love a dress, but it's all right. This is what the back of it looks like. Again, ignore my hair. I'm gonna need more help in the comments this week, guys. Let's call this one green and pink. This one green and orange, or there's also an orange option. But don't get me wrong, this is a nice dress, but it's not the one. I don't think it's my colour. I don't think it's really doing anything for me. I don't really like the neckline. Obviously, these are just paper. Underneath these, there's a little, like, gold chain. Can you see it? Like that. Yeah, it's a lovely dress on someone else. I just don't think orange is for me. So, guys, let me know which one. I thought I should probably show you guys this one again in case any of you didn't watch last week's vlog. But yeah, this is green and pink dress on. I'm keeping this regardless whether I wear it for this wedding or not because I do really like it. Please help a girl out in the comments. You've got to imagine it with heels, with a little bag, with curly hair. Let me know. I've just had dinner, had delicious homemade chicken pie by my mum. I'm going to take Sunny out for a really long walk because this is so unusual for us, but Sunny hasn't actually been out for a walk yet today. To be fair, it's been really hot. We've been really busy. She's been with us everywhere, so she's been knackered anyway. But I'm going to give her a long walk in like half an hour, maybe in 20 minutes because it's already quarter past eight. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish washing the rest of these eyelashes. I was going to paint my nails tonight, but I don't want to do that after. Because these are soaked in rubbing alcohol, your fingers literally get so grubby and I have found that it can take your nails varnish off a little bit or just like mess it up so i'm gonna do this first and then i'll probably do my nails tomorrow but as i'm doing this i'm gonna watch and i'm so ridiculously excited about this Piers morgan has interviewed the real martha from baby reindeer if you've watched 
baby reindeer, you'll know that this is a big deal. So I'm about to watch this. It's literally premiering as we speak. I really need to keep on top of these more and like wash them once a week. Cause I probably have realistically like over a month's worth of eyelashes in here. We've just been for a lovely long walk. Look how knackered she is. It's now quarter past nine and I am just about to start editing some of this day in the life TikTok that I filmed yesterday. Sometimes I edit TikToks on Final Cut Pro. I find it easier, especially if I'm talking in the clips. Sometimes I'll edit on the CapCut app, but I always use CapCut for the voiceover. So for this one, there's no speaking in this bit. So I can take all the audio off and then I'll just trim it all down, export it, send it to my phone and record the voiceover on here. My camera is on 5% battery. So I'm gonna crack on with this, maybe just for like 15 minutes or so, have a quick bath and chill out for the rest of the evening. Hi besties. So it's the next day. I painted my nails last night, finally got round to it. I've done a layer of Biab and then I've done a layer of gel. My nails look so much better. They feel so much better. I feel a lot more like me again. Also, I just thought, isn't this crazy right i would feel so much more conscious starting a vlog like this hair freshly washed in my pajamas absolutely zero makeup on because anyone could have clicked on that video but by the time it gets to the end of the vlog i think oh anyone who's watching to this point we're all friends here isn't that crazy so if you're watching this Thank you, I appreciate you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little realistic day in my life. Do you know what? I'm just excited to feel like me again because when I say I live in jumpers, leggings, my house reno trainers that are covered in dust and pain, most days zero makeup, hair always in a claw clip. I just look a mess like 90% of the time. Anyway, I am proper waffling and it's half past nine now. So I'm gonna go and watch some more of Clarkson's Farm. It is literally my favorite program at the minute. If you watch TV, with your parents or with your family. Clarkson's Farm is definitely a series that I think a range of ages will enjoy. It's all about Jeremy Clarkson and Diddley Squat Farm. If you told me I would enjoy a Jeremy Clarkson series, I'd probably be like, not into cars. But trust me, it's funny. If you've not seen it, give it a try. Anyway, I want to say thank you very much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really helps me out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week next week and I will see you again next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys, love ya!